Fortuna, Fortuna, spin your wheel upon us. I decided I'm going to start watching Star Trek. Imagine getting eliminated based off your dick. Welcome to the Medieval Science of Podcasting. Yeah. Oh, we're on? Okay. What? <laughs> I didn't know that. What the freaking heck? Goodness. How you guys feeling today, dude? This is we're, we're really fucking whipping the mules right now. Yeah. Two days in a row. This is a week apart, obviously, but not we, for us. We had to pre-tape early. It must be nice to be on the for, internet. So right now, <laughs> you're in the middle of an extremely successful trip. <laughs> True. Well, we'll see. Hopefully. Hell Hopefully. Yeah. No, I'm saying, I think it'll be good. We, come on, man. Dude, we're, I could. We're using speech to manipulate the future. That's true. So... By the time anyone hears this, Matt, you're you've just come back from a phenomenal weekend abroad. Oh yeah, I'll just be having gotten back. You're right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Congratulations. Oh yeah. yeah. What Thank a great you time. Guys. Thank you. The Thank pictures you. were awesome. Congrats on selling out every show. Yeah. Not the case. But destroying every crowd. I mean, yeah, yeah. obviously. Getting a bunch of Instagram stories of you on stage and it says Matt, Matt Matthew J. McCusker out here killing the game. Yeah, we I look at them and go, street. I don't want to share that. Uh, off yeah, the, and, then you, and then you have street. to share it, and then you got to pick a really cool song for it. True. <laughs> great, great, great job doing all that before we recorded this. True. Thank you guys. <laughs> yeah, true. There is. I mean, there are two me's right now. I am in super position right now. Mm -hmm. There is. Quantum I am <laughs> technically in California right now. Like I am in California right now. Can Fucked you? Up. Yeah. So access yeah. it. See what you can Arizona. pull from. <laughs> you got the state wrong. <laughs> well, I'm oh, in fuck. California, yeah. then Arizona. Yeah, so I'll be leaving Arizona, but yeah, it'll be me in a hotel room going with four hours to spend and go, mm, I guess I'll take a walk right now, and then I'll read a book, and then I'll take a walk, and then I'll read a book again, and then I'll eat too much. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Yeah, it's going nice. to be a huge success. It's going to be a fun time. I actually had a, uh, I had a, a weird thought today. Well, I was actually, I was getting coffee, and I was, I was observing the baristas, and the, well, there was a barista and a barista... Or maybe a barista X, but I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching all the baristas, and uh, they seem both on. Like they're pretty on edge, and I went, mm, "Yeah, these guys must sit here all day long and kind of torture themselves." And then I like zoned it out. And I'm like, "Well, if you go into a Walmart, you could safely assume that 95 percent of the cashiers are deeply frustrated, right?" With that, yes, I would say conservative. No one's having a good time. Like literally, not a Add single. The mate, mate, there's like two <laughs> dudes who are kind of having fun, but they're about to get fired because they're just too much. Yeah. Walmart. They got like a vest on. Cool. Yeah, it's yeah. They're having. But it's never, it's never zippered, and you can see their cool clothes underneath. They don't change yeah. their posture when like the manager comes over. To, yeah, like, but it's all it's all coming in. crashing down. They're having fun there, but they're about to be fired. They have no idea, and they're you know they're about to. They're like an hour long phone call away with someone just complaining. Yeah, I want them to think I'm cool when I go to Walmart. When I pass those guys, they're cool. They're pretty cool. They're like the coolest people. But they're about to. I mean, they're about there's to hit a, a chance that they're the biggest losers ever, though. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I'm saying in in uh, in the eyes of others, we're actually appreciating them right now and inhabiting their headspace. But mm -hmm. like on paper, you know what I mean. You yeah. kind of you kind of need to appear above those guys, even if it's not true. You're saying a guy having the most fun ever at Walmart who's about to get yeah, fired guy, has no idea and it's be total bullshit, not a, his fault at a all. A guy about to be fired from one of the lowest jobs in the planet for yeah. like. Not even being able to fake it enough. You, you're supposed to. I'm saying you're supposed to be like, that's not me. I'm way better than that. I but in reality, that, that is exactly who we are. It is yeah, like, do you, sure. ever, do you ever see Trolls, the av uh, animated movie? I haven't seen it yet, no. It's really good. But there's they go into this, there's like these guys who eat the trolls. And they're like a whole, it's a whole sad Oh, town. no. I forget what they're called, but they're, it's exactly like that. They go in there and they're all, <laughs> everyone in this whole like world is just going, <laughs> My th my thought was basically ninety five percent of the, ca the cashiers and workers at Walmart are, are deeply frustrated. Then you zoom out to the the customer base. Let's say like eighty nine percent of the customer base at Walmart's having a pretty bad day. <laughs> and then I go, well, if you expand it out to the parking lot, it's still about eighty five ninety percent. And then it like kind of dips, depending on the situation, by like maybe like. 70% of the people at a given place are having a pretty bad and frustrating time. Sure. Now, are you trying to create a mental heat heat map? Obviously, you could never you could never track all this data at once mentally. But intuitively. I'm going yes. intuitively. Yeah. But I, my whole point is I would say about 80% of people on a given day that you see are having a pretty tough time. For sure. It's pretty. I just the thought I went, geez, man, that's so crazy. I mean, uh, for the, the general public is probably 89% 
temporary non Walmart cashiers. That's you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I just died. It was such a sobering thought today. I went, man, everyone's having a pretty tough time. <laughs> NWCs. <laughs> Yeah, so everyone's having a tough time. Dude, the, the, I mean, obviously, people of Walmart has been done to death, but I'm saying at my Walmart, which I still go to, it looks like I live around a chemical plant. Like, no one is the per, like the correct shape of a human being. <laughs> everyone's got, like, a weird head or... The, like, I, I really think that... that uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what's causing this, but people are being deformed by radiation or something. I was I was starting at Walmart because it's the most like yeah, obviously everyone there is miserable. But then like take that now take my study to uh, CVS. It's like it's almost the same. Mm -hmm. It's about eighty percent of people are like it's like cashiers with their chin on their elbows like. <sighs> <laughs> it's soon, the only person I, I can't that comes do, to ring something in. Yeah, I don't want to do in person. For an retail, hour. I don't want to do in person retail shopping anymore. You just go and you just watch somebody like everyone working there is having like an existential crisis, nah. and you <laughs> have to be like, uh, "Hey, uh, can I get this cooler?" And they're like, <laughs> "Matt, have you have you become disgusted by the proletariat?" <laughs> no, I, I literally because I'll have bad days, and then I go, "You know what? I think everyone's having a bad day all the fucking time," and I go. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's a kind of yeah. weirdly comforting thought. Oh, that's that's a that's man, that's that's growing up cool privilege. Will you stop attacking me with all this crap? Dude, you were that's that's growing up being a cool guy. <sighs> You're too like I like I <laughs> I leave the house and I just see people that I want to impress. Like every like I'm going to I, like you guys are seeing mutants at Walmart and I'm like, damn, what could I do to make that mutant like me? Like if this person knew that I still had like a pretty decent vertical, I think they'd respect me. We should jump over them. You probably could. They're so short and freakish. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> They're so short and weird. They started capping the. Uh, you know how they have like basketball hoops for sale there. They started capping them because I was like I was one of those people that would dunk on the low rims at like Dicks and Walmart and shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> as they had the nationwide memo. What if Sydney just started like? <laughs> yes. Sydney just started leapfrogging mini balls, <laughs> <laughs> like running up behind, putting his hands on the shoulders of like a freckled fat woman in the freezer aisle at Walmart. And just, <laughs> I had to do that over trying to get yesterday. Dude, <laughs> yeah. Sydney, Sydney had to leapfrog me. We did a wrestling practice at jujitsu last How night. Well, and Sydney had to leapfrog. We had to leapfrog each other. And I'm not kidding. Feeling the weight of because like you're you're like oh I hope I don't hurt my back because I'm old and someone's leapfrogging off of my shoulders right now, <laughs> but I did I did I that was what I was anticipating. But what I felt was Sydney pushing off of my shoulders, and then the amount of time between that and when I saw his feet in front of me was <laughs> insane, dude. Yeah, we saw his hop. Yeah, I did not see his hops. No. I had to. We saw his hops. We oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah yeah no dude I was in the hop. I was the hop. Yeah, I'm, dude, I'm not. Was, I'm I'm kidding. I'm not kidding, dude. It was it fucked up like something in my inner ear, had, like losing him for as long as I did <laughs> in the sky above me. Did you just feel his like fingertips graze your shoulders? Basically, no. I I, I felt a solid push off. It's yeah. not like he was yeah, yeah, yeah. an elf and walking above the, fallen, <laughs> the fresh fallen snow while his while his team while his band of brothers trudged through it. No, I'm not saying yeah. that. He put a, he definitely put some pressure on me to bounce off. But my oh my, he got up there. Damn. It was, a, it was a pretty good time. I, my only regret is that we weren't in the middle of the room. I was like, damn. Yeah. Nobody's going to see us in the corner, but it's all good. Yeah, it was really crazy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I need people to know shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's when I when I leave the the, the house, I'm like... I was actually saying, like, all right, dude, wrap it up. We got to move on to the next thing. <laughs> it was taking forever. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, are we done? I was like, nah, I got one. we got one more. <laughs> yeah. He had a Luigi Super Mario 2 jump. That was for all the people that appreciate all the video game references. That's how Sydney jumps. Oh, yeah. Like Luigi. Yeah, no, that is, that is tight. <laughs> that is tight. It is when you say, like, privilege to a white guy, it's kind of a racial. Whoa, oh, my God, God. Oh, my God. Dude. You're kidding. right. You're right. I didn't, even, you, I didn't even consider I'm that. that teasing, potential dude, I'm having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for you that this happened. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry that the word privilege is so hard for anything. you to look, hear. Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> look. <laughs> I'm sorry you're so embarrassed by your privilege that you Wait, like why did he accuse you of cool kid privilege again? I have no I, idea. I lost the Because he's just walking around being disgusted by people at this point. It's you like, said that. Uh, your word's not yeah. mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your so, word's not mine. I'm, sorry, you're I'm so, you're, empathizing you're, with people. I'm like, saddened damn. saddened by the proletariat. I'm joining in pain with my human beings. You're saying disgusted by the proletariat. Your word's not mine. 
Damn, not much. You can't. Stand I said I'm going. Masses. Damn, man, these guys look like they're having a tough time. Like, God damn, dude, can't the government Sometimes put these fucking in. guys somewhere they so don't. I don't have to see them yeah. anymore? <laughs> I said, man, I'm having a tough time too. I'm like, trying to buy my gift here. You? Hate Why do them. I have to look at this? Yeah, mm, that's you. What sound are you making out there? What are your What are your sound? Mm. Yeah, mm. I'm 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 with them standing in line wearing farted in sweatpants. <laughs> You're going. <laughs> make me fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. John, what side are you on? I got so high off of that gummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more about synergy. I'm more about synergy, and I'm more about kind of just mm-hmm. like you know yeah, taking you, diametric. Op- I'm not this like this side, that side. That's so fucking. I think I might know what synergy is, but I definitely don't know what proletariat means. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna pretend like I do. It's like, workers. and I'm not gonna ask either. I don't want to know. Work, I actually working class. Don't want to ever know what that means. Working class. Okay. Yeah, proletariat. It's just Marxist nonsense. Erase it from your mind, dude. Yeah, John. Did you notice that Matt threw out that his solution was going to be not doing in-person shopping anymore? Yeah. Welcome to the future, brother. Well, is it because <laughs> stealing is done? <laughs> because they cut you off at the uh, at the fucking self checkout. I found a, a self checkout hack. <laughs> I found a, a grocery store that doesn't weigh the um, the things, so you can put two juices in and ring in one. And it won't know the weight difference. Why don't you tell us off the air, dude? I hate that we're going to put this company out of business if, I, if we reveal this to the public. Exactly. But where I was it? I would never because. Was it the shop right on Castor Avenue? No. <laughs> uh, it's, in, it's in New Jersey. Man, I'm not going to fucking Jersey, dude. Dude, you, hell? you can it's technically great. just bag all your stuff up. You don't even have to, like, you can scan stuff and you put stuff to the side that like you're going to bag it later. And then it, like, when no, you just, like, throw it all in a bag real quick. Yeah, you hit skip bagging and then. Yeah. Then it, you become a complete enigma. The first item that you skip hmm. bagging, everything's up in the air. You can walk out with a truckload. <laughs> yeah, it's very. Right. I, I, I love stealing resources. <laughs> I've heard they're like actually having a tough time with that. Like it's it's. I don't know if this Walmart, is real or not. Yeah, I saw a headline that said Walmart's threatening to close every location because they have they're experiencing two billion dollars in theft every year. Yeah. All right. But no one's gonna order from Walmart.com. Nobody. Amazon owns their ass. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, dude, it was everyone was stealing. Everyone steals from the one at uh down in Delaware Ave. Everyone, I used to go. I used it's to probably walk. majority stealing. It is, mm. dude. The self checkout. I used to walk in. I used to use that like at my. It was like my closet for a while. <laughs> I used to walk into it and like get shit I needed. No, the technology's out. gotten pretty good. I think they are starting to crack down. Are they? Yeah. It was not that good for a while. And you can do the tag. Sw- that's the big one. They don't. They can't really kind of block against the tag switch. You can grab a tag. I think, they, I think they know the weight of the object when you put it in the bag. Now? It did, yeah. Uh, maybe. Not everyone does the weight, though. We're going to have to start stealing from new places. That's what's, that's what's wrong. The places that are easy to steal from, they've kind of hardened up. The places well, that no one steals from, they've, they're have they defenseless. They haven't been thinking about this for 30 years like everyone else has. Mm. It's stealing season, though. you got a jacket on. That's mm-hmm. what pockets are for. Yeah. It doesn't have to be some kind of at the point of sale situation. Take a lap around the store. But ima- dude, imagine the feeling. Put that bottle of vitamins in your goddamn pocket. Wait, is that rattle it around when you're running out? <laughs> that's your that's your stealing technique. You're like you're like. Boom. I go pocket sometimes. Sometimes yeah. I do mm. the trick. It depends. I, I feel it out. Yeah. Yeah. Somet- sometimes I pay for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I don't I'm terrified of stealing, man. I can't do it. I've stopped. I've quit. Yeah. I've quit. I feel like people like like see like me in public like my avatar. People would just love. <laughs> To get to pull me aside and have to wait for a cop to come tell me that. By sir, what do you have is- under your sweatshirt? I'm mean, like, peep, there are adults that have to go through that. They have to yeah. be stealing something, and someone goes, "What do you have under your sweatshirt?" And they have to go, oh. yeah. yeah." You got to make it look like a big mistake so that legally you're, you know, you're like, "Oh my yeah, god!" Yeah, I was gonna pay. For, that's yeah. You can't. You got to leave everything in the cart and just let them get you and go. Oh my god, I'm f- such an idiot. You can't legally be. Pr- There's nothing of you on camera doing anything. You're like, yeah, I had a. Like, I had a yeah, laugh. dude. I yeah, that's carrying, a free pass every time. I was carrying yeah. a two liter soda up my shirt. Shirt. <laughs> I was going to pay for it. That's yeah. just how I carry. <laughs> I didn't bring a cart. <laughs> Let me go. Let me yeah. go. All right, call the cops then. <laughs> yeah, you really can. But then yeah. it becomes then your your life is a thief. I had a really. I was like, that's just. It's just not. It's just too much stress. Yeah, it's more on your body. Stealing stuff I, exerts more stress on your body than working for like. Uh, I'm getting hours. adrenaline still. In that's fact, more and more every time. I know. I'm saying it. That's you might bad. be developing a heart condition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you well, might be an epileptic shopper. <laughs> they could both be happening too. No, I'm done. My stealing days are behind me. Yeah. Yeah. I've when was the last done. time you stole? God damn, I can't 
remember. I truly can't. But I, when I was a teenager, it was a problem. I think I was probably acting out and trying to get in trouble. But you wanted someone to come down on you. Yeah. No, I stole constantly as a teenager. You just want nothing more than a cop. Sodas to go, and candy and stuff. Sodas, candy, deodorant. Deodorant was a big one. Yeah, stinky motherfucker needs to clean up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, DVDs. God damn, I love. Ooh, that's a risky the, one. The Tower Records on South Street was like a parkour lab for me. <laughs> would you take the package? You would take the first package off when you stole them. Because then they have sensors. Yeah, there was like a pop it off. Yeah, there was either like a square, like magnetic strip, or like that rectangular puffy one. And so the first problem was you had to figure out where it was, and then you had to peel that off without anyone noticing. Dude, to me, people that stole CDs and DVDs were fucking high level. Cat well, dude, my friend, <laughs> yeah, you're doing the whole like if you're peeling that thing in there and not trying to get noticed. You know what I'm saying? You that's are ballsy. High as level. Shit. I felt yeah. I, I, that's I a cat honestly, burglar. that's one yeah, class. I felt like an He's art the best. art thief. He tried to get out of the business, but they pulled him in for one last job. <laughs> dude, stealing <laughs> stealing the Godfather trilogy from the second floor of Tower Records. You're as deep into the store as you can God be. You have to walk damn, past so every part thick. of the store to get out. Insane. It's a big item. You have to like really <laughs> take some shit apart to get to the sticker. I truly oh felt like God. I was stealing the Mona Lisa. And then when, when I walked out of there, I was just like, this is it, dude. This Three DVDs is a felony, too. Dude, <laughs> they would have been totally <laughs> okay. I think Rico gets involved in that You're probably <laughs> still being yeah. investigated right now. I know, dude. What's the statute dude. of limitations on stealing the Godfather children <laughs> DVD? You're on a watch list for sure. Like, mm -hmm. that, man, just being, like, being the friends of people that were stealing DVDs back then was tough for me. Like, just knowing Bro, that they did. I had, a, I had a, this, I knew, we actually had, like, kind of a stealing scene in my high school, and my buddy Vince was the king. Yeah. Whoa, he, what yeah. was he stealing? He was even more repressed than I was. He was Jehovah's Witness, so his, like, upbringing was even more, like, bizarre. Maybe not as dark as mine, but, like, definitely more bizarre. And so when it came down, like, we were kind of proving shit to each other by stealing, and he just went nuts. He ended up... Um, he started stealing like these gigantic movie posters from SEPTA bus stops because you could sell them on eBay for a bunch of money. <laughs> really? And what he did Damn. was he, fi he he found out that the key that SEPTA uses to open those is just a fat, a, a, a flat like shape, but it's just like kind of a specific like Allen key head. Mm -hmm. It's like a round Allen key, like, like, uh, proprietary shape and so he went and to his dad's he went to his basement and used his dad's like angle grinder to, Whoa. to bend a nail and completely match the shape and then he just went around to set the bus stations at night just clearing out these giant posters oh dude uh, he went he figured out how to uh, oh no he didn't figure anything out we, we had a circuit city uh, and he, we, we would go there and the way that he got around like the sensor on, on like the CDs and DVDs there is he would go to a cash register and rub it on the big magnet and then just walk out with the thing whole. And then obviously he just, he just got too into the game and eventually he was just stealing shit for no reason. And he eventually got arrested stealing like treasure planet on DVD from a supermarket. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, no. It was so depraved. <laughs> oh my God. He got arrested in front of all of her. I was the, the only box bandit. <laughs> and they were cutting school. I was the only person who didn't go to cut school. I wasn't there. I think Mary Jo might have been in the car as everyone just watched him get taken out of a supermarket in handcuffs. <laughs> See? Dude, I can't have that. Dude, society would love to do that to He was me. the man. Dude, he didn't pay Pretty for good. anything. That's the problem. He had he bought a fucking banana Yep. They would have let him slide. Mm. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, you gotta pay about, for something. Mine was more of like a question of like reality testing where like, is anyone really paying attention to this? Like, what if I do X, Y, and Z? And if I really look super confident, like, do people just let you completely go? And the answer is really yes. Yeah, it's a yeah. philosophical theory, not uh, your wanting of things that you no, could <laughs> pay for. It was purely like, dude, how deep does this go? Dude, there was a time period where my uh, my older sister was the black market. Like she was stealing from Kmart. Like she would like her and her friends would walk all the way up to Kmart, yeah. steal a bunch of clothes, and then sell them to their friends. Yeah, she was Damn. a thief. Yeah, that was the original fast <laughs> she was fashion. A thief. Yeah, Kmart clothes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking bobo shit. Fence. Going to prison. Fence Kmart clothes. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely on the straight and narrow now. Like I'm even at the point where I'm like, oh, you forgot to scan that thing on the bottom of the shopping cart. Like I need my kids to not steal. I because I think I'll that's stealing that stealing is bad. Stealing is dark home stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. I go. We have a good life. You don't steal. If I go to yeah. a cashier and they don't see it, it's mine. But if I go to self checkout, I always yeah. Make sure no I pay. way. I need to be code. in the green. Karma wise. I go, mm. if I forget it and I see it, I'll just kind of be like, oh, like, I won't, I won't go around. back and like, um, excuse me. But like during the transaction, I'm honest, Scout. Abe, you're scouting. Yeah. I get outside. I go, ah, that was unfortunate. Yeah. That's, that's what I've, that's what I've grown to. And again, if something gets, I'm like, whatever. 
more so it's out of laziness. I'm like, I don't fucking scan that thing. I'm like, it's, that's on them. It's there's something. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. I yeah. mean, they all theft is on laziness. It's like, oh, I don't feel like making enough money to afford <laughs> that. <laughs> Dude, if, if I scan a box of cookies and it's like fucking two more dollars than I thought it was, I'm stealing the item after that. True. <laughs> yeah. That's another like, thing. Whatever too. is in my hand to get scanned next is going in for free. <laughs> Customer's right. Or you get one bonus. You did all the work. It's like, well, I get a break time. I get a shift snack, shift meal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, Instead I'm of having working. somebody put it back. I'm going to just take it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Also, Whole Foods is kind of like honor code. Whole Foods is complete. Dude, I used yeah. to steal fucking $20 steaks from Whole Foods. Dude, I, I, mean, yo, I was with you when you did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I was with, one time John, I told John I was going to go to Whole Foods on my way out of the city, and he asked if he could come with me, and we were in Whole Foods together, and he was just boosting steaks <laughs> in his fucking coat. It was insane. Like I had to, I had to, I had to run away from it. <laughs> it was terrifying. <laughs> so, you don't have to hide them. You just walk out with them. Yes. If someone stopped you, be like, I actually work on the farm. They'd be like, Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we love yeah, farmers. We, farm. here. we love farmers. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a dude one time with two empty bags sit there with a took an entire grocery cart, opened his bags. It was like in the cereal aisle. <laughs> put all he bagged all of his own groceries oh. from his cart and just walked out. I was like, God <laughs> damn, brother. God damn, dude. John, John was stealing steaks the same way spies steal, like, documents in movies. <laughs> just Looking slide. both ways, yeah, just, putting it in. My, dude, I had a big meat <laughs> pocket in my fucking jacket. I had, I had the Summit Ice Jacket from Nathan for you, and it had a gigantic inside pocket that I would Man, just fill. I wish you guys could, steaks. like, em envision how cartoonish this was. He was stealing <laughs> steaks in the opposite direction of somebody stocking steaks. Do you Dude, know what I mean? No, well, here's it the thing. You have to order mechanic. it. I was ordering it. I was being like, let me get that one from the window. Like a fucking housewife. <laughs> oh, I was like, that looks like a good piece of meat. You weren't ordering by the way. And then they like fucking, yeah. specifically. Yeah, and then they weigh it, and they fucking wrap Put it up sticker on it. in some nice paper. <laughs> Went right in my jacket. Yeah, I'm telling Diabolical, you. Diabolical, dude. I used yeah. to love that. Then I started going. You know, but I was buying I $50 that, worth of groceries. Can I get that? Bro, you're, and you're, I was already, saving you're already eating meat, which has like kind of a moral question Bad. mark hanging over Karma. it anyway. And then you're stealing on top of it, man. Well, that was from Whole Foods before it was Bezos. So I'd feel even better stealing from there. To now. be fair, the animal would probably be in favor of you stealing that meat. Because it, it's like now the animal. took the animal down was the farm, the store. The greed of the store. They'd be like, mm -hmm. I would love for someone to take this back to the wild and take this meat. And yes. Eat. No, I, I always say animals that Thank get eaten that. appreciate their spot in the food the chain. Commerce. When they get killed, they go, here we go. Next <laughs> thing I'm doing. True. <laughs> I've reproduced. <laughs> I've, you know what I mean? I can't wait to hear I that. I learned to fly. The <laughs> 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 that's, that's my whole stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love eating animals. I feel like it might, it's ideal for my but I've come to grips with the fact that I'm more of a, just a pure animal eating guy. Yeah. That's when I'm at my best. Not even meat, it's just animals. Animals. Yes, I need animals. Animals. All different types of animals. I know I tried the vegetarian or vegan thing for a while and it feels good for like two weeks, but then like your body starts to fail. For me, that was what happened. I just also worry. I mean, think about all the processed foods that you see vegans end up eating. It's, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. you know, it's a lateral move. I, I mean, I don't give a fuck. No, I'm really telling you, for the first two weeks, I, I did it. The first, <laughs> Hold on, let me stop myself. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the first two weeks, it feels like you're walking on air because you, your body gets a break from digesting like other beings. So you're just like, you feel light, you're sleeping really well. And then after like a month, you're just like, Dude, I have no energy. It sucks. Dude, yeah, I, but, I always get a little sad every time I find out you shouldn't eat another animal, right? Like, you ever, like, the first time I found though. out that you shouldn't eat turtles because they, they're infested with disease and stuff. Yeah, that sucks. It's fucking sad. That's right? why you're not supposed to eat turtles? Yeah. I thought it was because they were, like, kind of gentle and slow. <laughs> no, what the not, hell? Not. And why? Turtles will, yeah. kill you. They will kill you. I thought it was because they live to be 150 years old <laughs> and because they kind of, like, taught you lessons. That sounds more delicious to me. What the hell? So yeah, I know. Old, old That's a forbidden food. Turtle. Yeah, but don't chickens carry diseases too, don't they? The yeah, but tur you can't, turtle you can't soup was a big thing back in the day. Yeah, but you can't cook the turtle diseases off. What? Like, yeah, you're not supposed to eat uh, turtles. This changes right? everything. Yeah. Well, now I desperately need to eat a turtle. Yeah. Uh, sea cucumbers, you can't eat those. Damn, so I Shredder, would never... Shredder may have died if he ultimately prevailed over the Ninja <laughs> Turtles and turned them into turtle soup. <laughs> he would have eaten them. We got a terrible disease. <laughs> Maybe he was chasing like an, a prior experience. Maybe he had a brush <laughs> with the <laughs> turtle bacteria. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I need to feel the rush. Well, they say that with fish. <laughs> Apparently, sushi can carry some sort of weird um, parasite. 
and it, mm-hmm. but they freeze the sushi for like seven days. I love imagining like tiny worms on a on a glass slide under a microscope. You know, yeah, I wouldn't mind cool. having a couple of those inside of me. Actually, you know what I like yeah. when they shove a, ca- a camera up a guy's nose and it's full of maggots. I go, damn, it probably feels so good to get all those things out though. Oh, that would feel nose. fucking awesome. I don't know. Maybe not your nose. Definitely not your ear. But I don't know. I feel like the nose maggot boogers. Brain maggots. Getting all that shit. I mean, it's not really your brain. That's your sinuses. Yeah. yeah. You ever see people Oops. get bot flies in the brain? Out of them? No. Yeah. I yeah. think bot flies kind of started the whole pimple popping trend online because some bot fly videos went viral. Mm. Popping out that little parasite from your skin. Ooh. No, I never. I never had. I, you I, ever I, see them squeeze like a hundred bot flies out of a dog's leg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's satisfying. Dang. I never saw that. Let's get it. Yeah. Well, it's gross. Yeah, I don't, I've never watched the pimple popping vids. I don't like that. I do not like that either. Yeah, I outgrew it very quickly. Yeah. It's really disgusting. Actually, I just hate looking at like shirtless fat guys with their like fat wife squeezing their back as hard as they can. That I actually can. That's really not good stuff. <laughs> like, wait, that's that. what it is? You like amateur <laughs> pimple popping videos? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I prefer the doctors. Dude, the, yeah. the, 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 the human bodies that you're subjected to when you watch pimple popping videos are almost grosser than the pimples that are being popped. <laughs> Just, just like fat dudes with that's, like freckles and skin cancer all the way down his spine, <laughs> and his wife is like using the pal- like the heels of her palms to squeeze a boil on his back, and then it just splashes in her face. And you're just like, cool, next one. All right. Yeah. yeah, I never got into that. My YouTube algorithm sucks right now. Really? It's it's going to the YouTube's about to lose me. Mm. It e- blows. It's getting. Mine's gotten kind of for your kids on it though. Or no, do they have their no, own? no, no. They no, they don't even have one, dude. No yeah. algorithm for the kids yet. No, I sympathize, man. I try to keep a tight YouTube algorithm. Mine sucks. It's the same bullshit all the time. And now I'm just like, actually, off it. mine got heavy on that Egypt stuff for a while. Mm. And, Egypt, uh, what conspiracy stuff? Yeah, there's something. Dude, Ancient the fact, Egypt. The fact conspiracies? that there's the fact there's a, that there's like a, a group of people called Egyptologists who like kind of have a monopoly on the information about ancient Egypt is pretty bizarre to me. You know. There's no like Irelandologists. It's just like we all kind of know what happened there. Yeah, the, why are they, I mean they're just called like the Irish historians. Why are they called Egyptologists? It is kind of weird. Because it's such a fucking mystery. Maybe because it's so old. True. But anyway, here's my so my algorithm told me that like all the big stuff in Egypt, like the pyramids, the Sphinx, um, that was all there way before Egypt. And Egyptians kind of like came back later and like graffiti hieroglyphics on it. Like, can you believe we made all this cool shit? Egypts were faking. The Egyptians are stealing cool, yeah. like uh, really wonder, natural one, not wonder, seven wonder of the world. Of the of the world status. Yeah. So I'm not going to defend Egyptologists, but the word Egypt landing in that hard consonant kind of phonetically lends itself to being a cultologist word. You know what I mean? Like Egyptologist, it, it, probably because it sounds cool. Yeah, I guess if I was them, I'd go with that too. But then I also wouldn't fucking. <laughs> to fight off new possible information. I I do like that the is fact weird. that they're just bearing. They're just they're coming to grips with a mystery. Your whole life, there's like no hard facts. They're just like, look, it's a mystery. Well, yeah, but the narrative we don't know. But check out my fucking Jumanji clothes. Yeah, and, <laughs> that's the whole job. And you're like, maybe it's two billion years old. We don't know, and I have to live with that. Every day. You go about your life and have fun. I'll just sit here. I'll sit here and wrestle this mystery. Yeah, I'll ponder the obelisk until I open a portal. <laughs> and have sex with my graduates. <laughs> <laughs> Who are dressed like Tomb Raider. <laughs> yeah, they don't do it. That's a fucking sick move to be like, yeah, I'll handle the mystery. Yeah. You guys worry about, like, the actual science of building bridges and shit. Mm-hmm. I'll sit here and contemplate the unknowable. That's got to be a very sexually charged field. Like, everything in sure. ancient Egypt is very highly romanticized. Yeah, dude. You know, it's... uh. Goodness gracious, they're like rubbing oils and shit on each other. Like they're, they're probably trying to recreate some ancient Egyptian I, orgy shit. Dude, yeah. I can't even visually picture Egypt or Egyptians without also hearing that like desert music in my That's, head. Dude, I was literally mm-hmm. just playing in my like imagine a guy playing it for himself. <laughs> just playing like <laughs> This is the secret. I didn't even know that was Egyptian music. I just thought that's what the wind sounded like back then. <laughs> It's like over the dunes that like makes a melody. Like the dunes are like all organized in a way that it just makes the. I, that, I'm sorry, I thought that was just how uh, Egypt. No, sounded. that's that's for the inside of like a gold shaded palace, and yeah, you know, you're getting chased by a mummy or something. Yeah, that's indoor wind. Sorry, you're making mummies. They weren't getting chased by mummies. They're making them. Yeah, that's when you've fallen from your kingdom and you get ch- captured in another kingdom and you see it all of its splendor and you go. Ah. 
<laughs> that's my that's my slur, by the way that's my new slur for egyptians is mummy makers i don't fuck with these fucking mummy makers carving their shit into the real old shit whatever music played when they uh, lined up all the mirrors in the mummy that uh, lit up the room to reveal tutankhamen <laughs> his curse did you ever look into his curse the, tur- the curse of i was probably oh, obsessed oh. with it when i was like 12 like i'll figure this out <laughs> there's no way grown-ups are gonna spend enough time on this <laughs> i'll figure out what's up with tutankhamen's curse didn't people get like really fucked up who went and like took stuff from the guys him? that cracked open they were cursed they're yeah, all of they're, them died their planes crashed their uh some of them never got hard again. Yeah, really. Well, <laughs> nothing to do. They, were, they weren't even there. They were just like the, a rental car guy. <laughs> yeah. that, is, that is one of the things that facilitates the new uh, information about how old they were and the potential of them being nuclear reactors. Because if you look back at how some of them died, it looked like radiation poison. Like similar mm. uh, side effects of radiation poison. Yeah, it makes sense. They unleash some ancient nasty stuff. Mm-hmm. That's that's yeah. That was yeah. A, there's some musk in there. That's a great gas, fringe theory. Gas bubble or something. They went. Ugh. I would not have walked <laughs> first in there. Ancient Egyptian farts, just like a fart tune. <laughs> yeah, it's probably it's somebody trapped fucked up gas, and they were like, "Oh, look at this, some mm-hmm. old bones." Ugh. Dude, an oh, ancient spell. fart would probably fuck you up. Like if we not not, not a like fucking entombed ancient fart, but if you can go back in time and smell an, an old school fart, it must be out of this world. An old school fart would eating be pretty healthier nasty. than I eat. So yeah, there's <laughs> yeah. definitely more natural they're, they're smelling. Eating figs and You're stuff. Saying you could go. My fart, farts fart smell like McDonald's. Like <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah, on point. fucking good yeah. point, Del Calo. <laughs> yeah. Fair any, point. He can fart in any air. I can smell exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the phrase McDonald's fart definitely triggers my olfactory senses. <laughs> no, that's a good point. The farts today maybe definitely are terrible or way worse. That's fair. Yeah. Because dudes back then, if they ate something fucked up, they would just puke. They'd be like, Bleh! You know, they weren't like constantly inflaming their gut with like food that was like kind of just okay for yeah. human consumption. They would just be eating like the freshest of meats and then one day like bite into some bad meat and puke and be like whatever Wait, so it would still make me pill. diarrhea i don't throw up yeah. it just becomes diarrhea i hold it in until it goes i don't think end. anyone got diarrhea until 1970 <laughs> 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 yeah man think about could you imagine life without powdered cheeses like doritos cheetos yeah i don't need them mm. yeah i don't eat any of those actually you never have i don't fuck with those kind of powdered cheeses yeah yeah what kind of powdered cheeses do you fuck with? <laughs> None, I guess. Uh, okay. Cheese is not powdered. What about the uh, Kraft mac and cheese, dude? No. What? what? Heavens no. That stuff's poison. I know, dude. I just poison quit. Ni- I just I just quit nighttime cereal. <laughs> no mind? more nighttime cereal, and I I don't really eat it during the day, so I think I might be off cereal, dude. It doesn't mm. do anything. It does zero. It does literally negative stuff it's, for your body. It's a net negative. It's eating a, it. See, a bowl of cereal is an absolute net negative in the body. Yeah, so I'm 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 gonna try to be strong about this, but dude, it's it's over. It hit, I didn't. That's really, a lot of milk. Aren't, isn't like everybody uh, lactose intolerant when you're an adult? Mm, not me. Yeah, but you don't keep refreshing the milk with nighttime cereal. You eat the cereal, you, do, but, you put more cereal in it once you're gone and to soak up the milk, and you just keep going until there's no more milk. But yeah, my, also, I would say I probably have an above average milk tolerance for an adult. Really? Oh, yeah. I've been on a strong regimen my whole life. I mean, you yeah, but you also, strong, just, yeah. Ad, you also just adapted to a lifestyle of diet. <gasps> Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to break the yeah. chains, dude. You're I'm trying to logs. I'm trying to make a meeting. Are you claiming logs right now? Yeah, but here you want to hear something really fucked up? Yeah. Not thick ones. Well, we got the skinny boys right now. I got now. snakes. <laughs> I got that's snakes right now. And honestly, <laughs> honestly, dude. That's all right. Honestly, well, they're, they're all snakes, yeah. buddy. No, no, no. You got no, tiny I know snakes. I got, he's, about. Saw, he's soft serving it up. I got garter he's snakes. He's got the pencil sharpener. Is, is that a pencil yeah. sharpener, dude? <laughs> yeah, I want I want Amazonian pythons. I don't want <laughs> pet supply store how, feeder snakes. How skinny are we talking? Are we talking like a baby gardener snake? Thicker than a pencil, probably skinnier than a permanent marker whoa okay there's a slim boy and and dude i'm up there and i'm like i am doing work right now and i do a quick glance and i go what the fuck is that (laughs) you have an intestinal blockage probably yeah no it's okay it'll it'll adjust you try to feel a little gaping 
Dude, what, what, I, you need to feel a little gaping when you're pushing one out. I, I, but I kind of feel like I do, but I, my, my butthole might also just be very tight. <laughs> On top of the hot... Dude, I, dude, my butt is in disarray right now. <laughs> has, your, has your butthole been calibrated to zero? I got it, yeah. Dude, I don't know what it is, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling what you. What the hell? I went on an all. I tried to do an all liquid diet one time. It was like if I blend everything into like, like all my meals into a fine like a like a Dude, liquid in, liquid out. Dude. That's what I was saying. I was like, maybe this will take. It'll like give my digestive system. Like I'm gonna digest the food as much as possible, then eat it. Tim Tim's butthole is like hers. the airlocks on a spaceship. They, <laughs> they, cross, they cross each other. He has overlapping <laughs> flaps on his butthole. But no, that, dude, that gave yeah. me. And as soon as they open it. <laughs> 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 dude, I was shitting like shoestrings, and I was like, "What the mm. fuck?" It was like spaghetti noodles, dude. It was crazy hell. I mean, they weren't that skinny; <laughs> they were the skinniest turds. And I was like, "Dude, what the fuck?" That's disappointing. It was, dude. It's, it's honestly, I take diarrhea all day over the a skinny turd. Yeah, so skinny. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm playing with a play doh. Dude, think about it. Think about it. It is play doh. Like it's just taking the shape of what it's allowing to expand. So yeah, you yeah. have something. You're not just like. There's not a skinny turd falling through like a water slide wide open. I can't. Even, I don't even want to talk about this. Right you can test it. You can, can track the shape of your asshole on, with with one of those. I know. I've well, been trying intestines. to do. I've been trying to yeah. do a star shape. Yeah, well, we, you could just have one in all of those thousand folds. Yeah. There's one of those little villi or whatever just fucking are inflamed, and then it just it's fucking mashing. You ever have flat? Turds? I got a stuffy butt. Is what you're yeah. saying? If you have flat mm -hmm. turds, same thing. If you ever have them flattened. Who's ever had a ribbon turd? You ever had a flat turd, like a no, fettuccine? No, what? Had a flat I've had a flat turd before. <laughs> you got a pasta cutter it's back not there? It's synonymous to a shrimp ass. Do you ever have lasagna basket? noodles with like ruffled edges? <laughs> you got a pasta extruder? <laughs> it's similar to like a shrimp basket when you take a, a dump of like a tiny, a bunch of yeah. tiny little almost flat turds. Shrimp basket is a term I learned from you and it is my most frequent See, th those are flat, those are yeah. kind of flat turds. You're making though. Christmas tree shapes. Del Collins, you, you got remember, a cookie cutter. Do you remember the Detroit style tweet? I mean, yeah. no, text message. Yeah, that was <laughs> fucked up. That's never, that's what you want. That's your goal, right? <laughs> oh, have, have diarrhea, have log? Wait, I thought, no, you sent me the fucking, the biggest. No, I, th I think it was half solid, half shrimp bask. No, I thought it was like I don't know. We'd have to go too, back to. It. I don't want to revisit it too too graphically. Yeah. but it looked I, like it hurt. I th I was on the best of both worlds tour. That's kind of nice. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> Night and day. Mm -hmm. But yeah, those skinny turds are. There, it's, it's a temporary blockage. Yeah, it also okay. sucks those skinny turds because you have to push those. Like yeah, like those, yeah, like I said, I'm doing out work on their own. I got the squatty potty. I know. I know when I'm done. I got the bidet. Shrimp basket comes out easy. That's a fucking yeah. That's order yeah. up, baby. Yeah, yeah. thirty that's seconds. Like, <laughs> that's like the thing from Forrest Gump. That's like the net you take out of the sea and just dump all at once. <laughs> yeah, I started reading a book that's got me kind of fucked up. What is it? One hundred <laughs> years of solitude. You ever oh, hear this? dude, it's awesome. Yeah, oh, and I'm thinking of all quiet across the western front. Okay, bad. no, this is this this starts with a guy uh, in front of a firing squad thinking about his father, who uh, I I'm guessing because I only just started reading it, but I think he sent his life his bloodline down a life of peril because they lived like uh, this is like pre like almost like pre-colonial times in south america or something like that and they set up a village and uh these gypsies come through like every so often like maybe every couple of years and every time they have like a new cool thing like one time they showed up with magnets and the dad goes like oh, i gotta get into magnets and he like squanders their family's like scant fortune on oh. like magnets and then the the gypsies come back later he's like dude those magnets didn't really do shit for me i need something what's the new shit and they'd be like we've got a magnifying glass he's like Okay, and he's like, I'm gonna invent mag magnifying glass warfare using the sun, and he like, and the whole time his wife is just trying to keep their family together, but like this dude just keeps it getting into new cool gypsy shit. And I was he's just like, damn man. And I said, oh no, <laughs> basically, <laughs> oh no, I'm going down a dark path. <laughs> he got to, <laughs> he got ruined by like mall kiosk stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah, the sharper image could take a family out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. so bad. Do you ever go into the ad scene on TV store? No. Dude, that's what could ruin my life. Yeah. I avoid it. I, I don't yeah. avoid it. I just see it and go, like, everything I see on TV is... Every new novel crap. concept, you go, this is it. My life's purpose has finally <laughs> been dropped <laughs> in my lap. 
<laughs> and then you close your eyes and suddenly your son is in front of the firing squad. I don't, I, yeah. that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good book though. Yeah. I've never seen one of those things on TV. I mean, ShamWow is always kind of like, yeah, there's got to be a catch with that. The, I was the hose always, that retracts and goes back to a small size and lightweight. When the water oh, yeah. comes out of how, like long that, how long is that? You'd be an idiot it, not it, to it's buy 50, one. It's 50 feet. 50, 50 feet? feet when it's in full use. So it's a But how long is it soft? <laughs> it's probably like uh, 15 feet, and then it's like, okay. it weighs like nothing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Every, up. And yeah. Do we have a promo code for this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I, I've come across that scene on TV stuff, and whenever I confront the reality of it, I go, I get fucking tricked. Yeah, well, I mean, Not obviously, trick, as an old man, you obviously go, okay, that's just cheap Chinese bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but as a child, you're just like, I th like, if I saw you, this thing. I yeah. have two of those hoses. Do you really? Hell yeah. Every they're, sick. they're sick. They're the best. It was one of the best purchases ever made for the house. I don't think I that's quite as seen on TV, though. I've been seeing those at, uh, like, Lowe's and stuff. Those are legit. Yeah, they started, though, from a fucking... Yeah, it was uh, the original uh, Shark yeah, Tank. Yeah. They yeah. went from infomercial to, you can buy it off TV. Yeah. And those H H D. You don't get the you don't get the satisfaction of rolling up your hose when you're done. Fucking. Whoosh, whoosh. I just love calling one eight hundred numbers to get things. You know, true. Easiest way to get stuff sent to my house. I, I, I like them too. I like to call them and chat with them. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Rolling up a hose, like a real hose, is one of the things that reminded me really early. Like I'm probably not meant to do man shit. Nah, uh, dude. You fucking <laughs> burning out my shoulders the whole entire time. <laughs> Oh, it keeps twisting. <laughs> <laughs> you realize you left all the water in it if you roll it. Dude. Fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, love that. I love that stuff. Wrapping up extension cords, I love that. Just an impossibly long extension cord is fucking, yeah, I love that. Once but you yeah. get proficient at it, you feel so Do you, do you cool. go around the arm? It used to. Yeah. But now, the elbows, that's like, that's day one stuff. Then you start taking like a slack, you kind of like. Ooh, one hand. Yeah, you like, kind of like whip it in a certain way. If you take a certain length, it'll coil itself. You just keep, whoosh, and it'll kind of coil around. Okay. Pretty tight. Well, Steven Seagal action. Yeah, just fucking whoosh, whip it around in the thing. But yeah, I, I remember like finally learning how to do that and being so cool. And I was always like the lowest of construction jobs. <laughs> Check this out, though. <laughs> Check this shit out. <laughs> and how long was this piece of wood you cut? I'm like, I forget. All <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I hated that. Dude, it was such a fine line. I'd be like, dude, 57 and 3 sixteenths. And I'd be like, is this, is my pencil so big? Is the tip of my pencil adding another 16th? So I'd like adjust it. It was just mm. a fucking nightmare, man. I'm like, will the house fall down if this is like a 16th of an inch off? It's paralysis by analysis. It was, dude. Then yeah, I, it you're really too smart. Was. For it was. And I'd hand it to my cousin and like it wouldn't touch the top of the thing. And he'd be like, what the fuck, dude? This thing's too short. And I'm like, Grr. Dude, I, you know what? I always hear people saying that, like, um, AI and, like, automation, that, the, like, they'll never take manual jobs. They'll never take, like, skilled labor jobs. It's like, what are you, fucking retarded? The only reason that, like, stuff takes long to build is because we have to worry about human safety and because, like, humans are, like, wildly inaccurate and have to, like, double and triple check stuff. Like, the mm -hmm. second we don't have to worry about people getting crushed by, like, steamrollers and stuff, yeah, we'll have skyscrapers built in two weeks. And better. Yeah, they probably it, could, nuts. honestly. Yeah. Crazy to think that. I would imagine they could, because I've I've thought about that before too, and it's like, yeah, I mean, there has there has to be a machine that can frame a house, like like dude, you're holding stuff in your mouth to take something from behind your ear to like build a building, to build like <laughs> a billion dollar office complex. You know what I mean? <laughs> imagine if you were a robot, you didn't even have like a like a, a a head the way that a living creature would be. You just move things around, and they're perfect the first time and extremely accurate. Yeah, it's, true. it's crazy. Yeah, anyway, I, I'm just tired of having this fucking argument with people. I think it's I think it's coming. No, I think that's coming for people. I think that's coming pretty dude. A robo contractor will be so nice. Yeah, it's not gonna fucking look at your wife's ass. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will eventually. <laughs> one one of the other robots like doesn't show up every third day. <laughs> like, it's insane trying to manage. Dude, to do that kind of work. It's all the baddest kids from school. And you're like, all right, dude, we got to yeah. get something done together, and they all fight the entire day. It's crazy. So have funny. you been watching the guys building the uh, brick porch across the street the last yeah. couple days? Yeah. <laughs> I have. It's just two guys. super old guys while one guy's just got like a, a trowel and he's going down and the old guys are just like yeah that's why i probably fucking shouldn't have took that job at the time dude but i'm thinking like <laughs> i only got like 25 more years left in that shit anyway so i'm like i'm, I'm probably not even gonna fucking make a big deal about it. but yeah i probably would say something to him before though <laughs> <laughs> it's dude, for eight hours and then just like oh, all right 
It's a pretty good fucking day, dude. Let's get I back know. in the truck. Both I times know. I walked by them today, they were talking about a fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I fucking told his girl, dude, like, yo, don't let him fucking come around here saying that shit to me. Dude. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. That's right. Good one, Rich. <laughs> yeah, it was always fun when there was dudes that would show up and you're like, they could not get with the program. They're like, but I want to smoke a cigarette again right now. Like, you can't, dude. You can't. You have to keep doing this. They'd be like, <laughs> yo, this is bullshit. They, and the top thing is they go, yo, the way they're doing this here is uh -huh. so dumb. Yeah. It's like, how would you structure the job then, friend? Yeah, the well, guy that doesn't even make it a full week. It's like a dude who four had a days on the It's job. like a guy who had a blow into a steering wheel to get here. He's like, yo, the way they're doing it makes sense. That's very like, <laughs> well, I kind of like my job, but like the bosses don't know shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you don't understand a fucking like, uh, cool, thing. Yeah. You, yeah, I'm, ba I'm basically running the place. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like a dude who couldn't like sweep all the floors without a problem. <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, yeah, I don't know, man. The way they were using these cranes, I wouldn't do that. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you would absolutely run this so much better. It fucking don't make no sense. Dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your brain doesn't fucking work. You don't understand. <laughs> There's no way they can fucking replace me with a robot, dude. I'm like, this fucking job just plays a <laughs> They definitely could. It's just the robot at Giant. It's the robot at Giant. Yeah. That's That would be your replacement. Yeah. It's Floating around, kind of cleaning up the bills, <laughs> unsettling everybody around you. <laughs> this robot's missing something. It doesn't seem to be swinging a lanyard full of keys around its own neck. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it was always really fun getting to, getting to watch that. It was, there was dudes that every day they showed up, it would just be fucking like, this is bullshit. On like something, like well, we, we'd be doing demolition. They're like, yo, we should get a piece of this the scrap money. It's like, <laughs> yeah, what? Why? Like, why? Well, I mean, you yeah. make an hourly wage. Yeah, for that this would be job. cool, but it's like, w walk me through this. It's like, I don't know, dude. I picked it up. <laughs> it's like, all right, that's, dude. Yeah. Like, that's cool. That that we there was a saying on pizza nights in my neighborhood. It was, uh, you fly, I'll buy. Yeah, like, you yeah. go get it, I'll pay. So it's like, oh, okay, well, I get to keep the change. <laughs> he wants to keep the change on the scrap. He did. Yeah. <laughs> this one guy dug it. He's like, I dug that up. I should keep that. It's mm -hmm. like, that's not how it works. I man. discovered that, dude. <laughs> yeah, but they're treating copper wire like uh, fossils. <laughs> yeah, like I excavated that. <laughs> I'm on the ground. I'm the one that brushed it off with the tiny little brush. Yeah, some <laughs> say this is, could be as old as 40 years, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the funny so they're working all day. They dig up a piece of copper, and all of a sudden their brain just, there's like storm clouds forming their brain. They go, <laughs> That should be mine. <laughs> and it ruins the rest of their day. Dude, I'm telling you. Yeah. I, the fucking Northeast Philologists are controlling all the scrap metal, dude. <laughs> I'm saying it's older than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that was here before Driscoll and Sons, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, the scrap metal gets every, it brings out the worst in every single person on a job site. It's, it's got like white trash radioactivity. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ring. It's the white trash ring. A pile of old dude, wires is the ring the, for white like, trash, that's why people wear those <laughs> copper bracelets. If you get too close to a barrel full of coiled up waste copper, you immediately start growing a chin strap. <laughs> <laughs> if you put all the if you put all the skin fucking number one copper into your pickup truck, rather than disappearing, you're just in your bar being the man. Like <laughs> someone pulls you out and you're like, oh, dude, fuck it up. You put it back in my fucking Colorado. Oh fuck, dude, those thick cuts. You bring it into the bar just to show it off. <laughs> Dude, it's I think, I'm, I think I might just keep this actually. Dude, on every job, someone's like nephew gets caught stealing scrap. They send someone bat on mm -hmm. like after hours to steal the scrap. Like one of their boys comes and tries to steal it, gets caught. Every, it's the funniest fucking. It happens every single time. Inside jobs. Mm. In tons of inside jobs, tons of betrayals. It, it's constant. <laughs> it's like a Bravo show. It's very fun. It's very. It's very funny. You catch dudes in the dumpster after it. It's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's it's really dude. There was a I was on a job one time where a guy blew the power out. It was this was a four or five story apartment complex that was becoming a seven story. They were like building on top of it, and this guy thought a panel was down. So like there was electricity of like at the time five four stories. So he was like, "Cool, I'm gonna bus bar is like the really thick copper that they use to like conduct electricity." He was like, "I'm gonna pop this shit out with a crowbar and get paid." And it was a, it was a live like whatever it was like Jurassic Park fence. <laughs> like, he, this dude hit a thing into the Jurassic Park fence and just went boom, and flew backwards, shut the power out of this entire place for fucking like five days, and they had to run a generator all for the scrap. It was a laid off electrician. 
Man, mm. that's a heist going wrong. Dude, he went. He, he should have died. Right into the T-Rex fence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was actually... Yo, yeah, Timmy, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Ten! <laughs> he got out. People saw him. They said, I saw him run away, but all of his brothers were like, we're not giving him... He just got laid off, dude. It's too much for him. Mm. <laughs> what do you want him to do? <laughs> he just jammed a fucking crowbar into the power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I need 50 bucks! <laughs> I was trying to... Uh, I was trying to figure out some some <coughs> of the trades with a, a a friend of ours our our, our muay thai instructor is mm. uh it, during the day he's like a concrete guy nice but uh the way that he like talks about his job and like like posts posts about it on the internet i, I was talking to him last week and i was like you seem to enjoy your job he's like yeah i fucking love my job and i think i know like probably six different concrete dudes that don't know each other and they're all just like yeah my job's actually pretty sick I yeah. like doing concrete. Who's the one guy, Steve, like, Ayanazuzi, king of the concrete jungle? He's got his signs everywhere. Oh. King I don't know, I don't know him hero. personally. I don't know him, but, but I, just, dude, I see his yeah. signs. I go, man, that guy's having a good I time. I think concrete dudes might be, like, the Sweden of the trades. They're, like, the happiest per capita. Yeah, it is. What do, you, what do you think? What do you think makes it so appealing or happy? Well, that's what I was trying to figure out. He was like, I don't know. I get to, do, I go to work. I kind of like the dudes I work with. We act like dick, dickheads all day, and then like when we're done, we're done. And you can go. make it look really nice, man. Yeah, and they make money. Yeah. It's the anyway, I'm thinking feel. about getting a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of sounds sick. Would be sick. It, dude, there is an artistry in the like the last when you see the guys like really smoothing out that. Dude, last yeah, piece. they're like one of the most satisfying time lapse videos. <laughs> yep, of watching people yeah. fail. Level, oh, and then you put the little rake over it. So yeah, you'll be buddy. slipping on it when it's Dude, wet. If you have technical abilities, getting into the trades rules. I tried this. I have zero technical abilities. Mm. I can't do it. You could fucking scrape concrete till it's even. Yeah, but dude, it's like, can you level the ground so that you can get it like that? Well, no, that's what you're... You learn how... <laughs> or you work with your buddy that does that. Yeah, but then you try it, but you every time he uses a stick, you're like, wait, what did the laser hit again? <laughs> like, dude, I'll just carry these five-gallon buckets, man. I'm not going to do all that. That's too much. We were trying to figure out what are, what are the most miserable and scumbag trades, and we were thinking maybe roofers and iron workers. <laughs> yeah, hands guys. down, roofers, dude. It yeah, is, it is. Roofers are notorious for just being. Roofers are sketchy, up. and I've known like iron workers are almost like Nego concrete guys. Do yeah. they stay at a like a? They're the shadow all concrete day? guys. No, iron workers sometimes they'll be up uh, welding on like a building or something like okay. that. Yeah, mm. although they're like pretty. They're kind of nightmarish, but they're not like roofers are like literally barbarians. Yeah, and they get for the lay, sure. they get the lay of the land. They're up there like <laughs> yeah, skiing. they know they know the neighborhood better than I do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> roofers no, are barbarians. Uh, I, concrete guys are paladins. Yeah, they are for sure. Demo, I would say honestly, demo guys are pretty gnarly too. <laughs> demo labor, <laughs> demo laborers are pretty gnarly, but cool though, right? Uh, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe they're a little high strung. Maybe they all have like kind of like electrified haircuts, <laughs> <laughs> and they're all kind of spazzy, yeah, and their they, blood pressure is high. But I think they're pretty cool. Yeah, dudes. they do get it. You know, you're right though. They do get a lot of that energy out. So you know, they're like hitting stuff. They're all red faced for sure. Iron workers are fuck. Are they are nuts? Roofers are nuts. Glaziers are kind of fucking sneaks. A yeah. glazier. Guys who do the, yeah, they're like glass me. guys through the windows. I don't Union know anything about them. Electricians might be the worst, to be fair. No, electricians are good time boys. Dude, you they're they're prima donnas. They're, like, they're the air force. They're prima donnas. Electricians are the air force of the trades. They're they're gay cool guys. Dude, electricians <laughs> think they're the shit at every dude. Job they're prima yeah, donnas. They think they're the smartest. Like, it's, dude, my uncle Billy is like a master electrician, and he's the coolest guy I've ever known. They're cool, but is, is he still union, or did he get it? He start his own thing. I'd rather not say. Okay, fair enough. I'm in Philadelphia, dude. Please. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing, dude? Well, you can My do tires that. are already flat now. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? There's a giant inflatable rat in front of the podcast studio. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, I'm picking up what you're putting down. There's dudes who go into the local 98 and drink all the cool. They chug the Kool Aid. Yeah. They're some of the toughest dudes. To handle, dude. <laughs> There's some of the toughest dudes. I know. The they show. They work for three hours a fucking day. It's insane. They all get drunk. I'm not gonna, you know what? I'm not gonna. But yeah, they they think that they they think their shit does not stink. They're, they're the like living trying. embodiment of yacht rock. <laughs> you gotta watch carpenters though. <laughs> carpenters, you have to watch. Carpenters, out for as well. I think, are a coin toss, dude. The um, again, we're just sticking strictly with union carpenter. You got those guys. They can they get they're power hungry, dude. They want to run the whole job. They think they can do every other trade because they because they feel like they do. They feel like they could be the boss. They think that, dude. 
but they're just square makers. It's like, go make right angles, dude. They think they can run the whole job. They think they can do every other trade. You got to watch those guys. Do they usually bring the guy that sweeps up everybody else's debris? Uh, a like, lot I of think time. there's usually a laborer with a carpenter is like fucking electricians leave all their fucking snippings on the ground and shit. So it depends. Yeah. Prima yeah, donna pussy. That's the year one apprentice. You're just pushing a broom no matter what you're doing. Right. Yeah. You're, just, you're like picking shit up, pushing a broom. Well, nobody, apparently electricians nobody has to be don't as do precise that. as a carpenter. Electricians don't do that, dude. They like go car- clip, 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 clip. They leave that shit all over the ground for the rest of the scrubs. Yeah. They don't pick the shit up, yeah. You know who I can never get a read on? HVAC guys. They're kind of chill. HVAC guys, they are, always stick to themselves. Like they don't like associate with every anyone else on the job site. They just kind of do dude, their own thing. They're head down, get in, get they're back chill. to the van. Yeah, they're chill, dude. Those guys are chill. Uh, although they're despised, the fucking data guys, the low voltage electricians, the data dicks, people hate like, them. Just like line runners. Yeah, they just literally run like the those guys. Ethernet. Fucking suck. They, re- they run like the yeah. Ethernet shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those guys fucking suck, dick, dude. <laughs> Why are they so unanimously hated? I'll, okay, everyone, I'll everyone tell you. Everyone calls them pussies, dude. Everyone calls them pussies. Yeah, because here's what happens: you work in IT, right? And you go, okay, we need we need 48 you know cats. We need 48 gigabit lines run from the first floor to the second floor. And you go, all right, I don't have the power to do this. I have to have HR call the building that we lease a space from, and they. They have to call the data dicks and then the data dicks show up and it's still just spackle retards but you're like okay i need to know the subnet mask before and they're just like i'll fucking know dude and they just they pound a fat knuckle into like a satellite phone and they go all right yeah i'm trying to activate the line like i'm not getting nothing on it dude it's still that guy except you're like okay man i i need to get this looped into my network do you know why that wire if you pinch it a little bit it's fucked yeah, I do. I do know that. That's why I'm not doing. That's why I fucking called somebody to do it. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that says we have to. We used to have to run the fire alarm. Wire. Oh, where'd you drop it? Over? No, we said drop it over here. What the? Okay, well, okay, you can't yeah. do it today. Oh, okay, all right, great. Well, how soon can you get back? Three weeks. You know, so three weeks until I get these desks wired up now? Fuck, dude. You could, and he's like, I don't know what well, the fucking tell you, dude. That's like, what it says in the fucking work order. You, know, you can't drop it there, and he lifts his hat, and he has sweat on his head, and he goes, Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, man. You're just you like, need me to put all these drop ceiling tiles back, or you can fucking grab that for me. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, they say painters and ro- painters get a very bad rap as well. I like painters. I like the. Fi- I call it, so. There's the the group that's the finishing squad, like the people who come in and do like oh, counters, yeah. painter. Yep. Yeah, those are my guys. The finish guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the painters all. Everyone has a rough and a finish phase. The painters do. They they do spray everything out at first. Yeah. But they are part of the finish squad. But yeah, they get a bad rap for being drug addicts. Roofers, bad rap for being drunks and drug addicts. And uh, Painters also deal with the most shit, like, from the wife. Mm. And also, like, like, they, like any mistake they make, the wife is on it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's true. I was also going to say, like, imagine imagine spending that much time in, like, white and gray rooms. Like, your entire life looks like train spotting for, like, two-thirds of every day of your life because you just, like, finish putting on the primer. Yeah, but it, Life true. gets cold, man. Well, here's the thing. It's not... It, that's... <laughs> it's... They breathe in fumes, literally. They get high off... You get high... When you have to use, like, the oil paints and shit, and you get high off of it. Is there, like, a shamanic aspect to being it's a painter? It's dark, bro. When you breathe no? in the oils, it's, like... It's, like, kind of giddy at first, but it's a... It's, it's like huffing. I wonder, yeah, but I wonder if you could transcend on the fumes. You can, you can. Transcend. I wonder if you can micro off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's, it's like heroes. You, dose. you wear a mask with a dial on it, and you decide how much you're taking in that day. It's heroes dose every single time. I know. And you leave, and you're just kind of like, I might ah. see if I can do a little bit of paint thinner and see where I get to. <laughs> You'd be chilling. <laughs> just paint, just oil out one of your rooms and keep the window <laughs> shut and just completely oil paint your room. You'll get bombed. I think yeah. I have some Light a little time around here if you want to fuck it. Yeah, this is worth finding out. Oh, dude. Get uh, a little gas grill in there, too. Light that up. <laughs> <laughs> Start your car and run a pipe all over your house. <laughs> yeah, no, you get bombed all... It's like, and it's kind of fucked up because you're out in the world and you're like, what the fuck? And you, you taste it for like the rest of the day. You know what I was just thinking is like, uh, think about how many job sites have a rugged boombox playing this over Bluetooth right now. <laughs> just like, what the fuck did they just say? <laughs> what the hell? Dude, turn that shit off. I, I told you to stop playing that faggot shit on the job site. <laughs> I fist, I fist bumped. Now they're talking shit. I fist bumped a dude right on the way. He was into a job site today. I was like, what's up, brother? I was like, yo, what's up, dude? Fist bump. Yeah, dude. It's all about, it is all about the job site. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
It is all about the jobs. Yeah, like shout that. out countertop guys. <laughs> countertop guys. <Yeah. laughs> Quiet, please. Yeah, that's a man. Yeah. I wouldn't call that a trick. Eh, that's a shit. I guess that's, that's a grease ball shit, though. I, I don't know anyone those, who's those ever gotten a deal on countertop. soldiers out there. Nah, countertop, that's, guys. countertop guys aren't really a trade. That's an extension of retail. That's right. They got to like, polish that shit up Christ, and cut Matt? it and angle yeah. it. Yeah, would you fucking chill? There's probably a <laughs> yeah. There's one countertop guy fully extended on a tape measure and like, what? Where's the counter? There's no, where's the <laughs> countertop? I'm part of like a global brotherhood of tradesmen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like two steps removed from a fucking Middle Eastern perfume kiosk mall guy. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy talking about? Yeah, my hair's got product in it, but like, I want to look nice. And maybe there's not many scratches on my gold watch, but I, I have to wear little booty things when I go into a kitchen and I'm doing <laughs> demo? What the fuck? There's no, tra there's no like, it's not a trade. Yeah, they never use a two-hand hammer, do they? It's all just like, ding, 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 yeah, ding, they ding, ding. They're, they're like Santa's elf, dude. <laughs> 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 they're almost cobblers. They almost like make shoes that night. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. Did we leave anyone out? Plumbers, obviously. Dude, shout out to Fat. Yeah. There were one. <laughs> Did we talk welders? Yeah, I, 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 I lumped them, well, I lump them iron in with workers. iron workers, yeah. dude. That's that's Chris Angel art. Yeah. <laughs> That's, a, that's that's Dave Navarro stuff. Dude, I'll yeah, still, that's hot topic yeah. fucking sculptures. I'll still watch uh, someone that's a master of TIG welding. You ever see oh, that? Oh, for sure. Yeah, and they're just making little circles, little half moons as they go down the line. Or is that MIG welding? I don't know the difference. That is cool. Whatever that shit is when they turn liquid into metal and use mm. it, with, you know, and they can't fucking let their eyes touch it or they'll become gay or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'll get gentlemen's glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> Close their eyes, it's just birds. They're like, mm. I've got welder's aids. I'm sorry. <sighs> nice. We're at an hour. We get, we Perfect. Get right to the motherfucking patcher. Oh, yeah, dude. The uh, Magoobies, dude. Get in the fucking Magoobies, oh, yeah. 420. Let's really get into it. That was honestly all warm up. Let's for real get into I it. I feel like I'm patcher. just hitting my stride. Yeah, same here. I got a lot. That that last thing, I was like, all right, now I have a lot of stuff to talk about. It's very important. Perfect. And if you didn't know it, you'd be like, oh, man, I wish I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> See on the Patreon. Oh, uh, Del Calo plugs. Oh anything? shit! What up, Del Calo? Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, everybody! This is the Little Stinkers, my podcast with Jake Matera and Mike Rainey. Yo, true crime, but um, we're bad boys about it. We little bad boys. It's a real about delight. It. Oh, also, real quick, uh, we did a Q and A. I guess it would be last week. We did a Q and A on the Stoner Dad's Patreon. Mm. Yeah, go check that out. Uh, yeah, that's I we we I mean we could do that infinitely. It, yeah, time provided we could just never stop ripping that because there is a lot of great questions real quick note though the heavy on video any question that was directed at me was a video game question and I've got all the time I can't I can't crush you I can't punish the boys with the infinite video what are you game. I love talking video games I know but the the questions are starting to get pretty specific I'm just saying I got I got all the time in the world to answer those questions over on twitch.tv slash Tim Butterly I I'll never stop I have I have infinite input on anything, but save it for there. You're drawing a line. You're saying, I'm drawing a I'm line. I'm saying, dude, dude I got to establish boundaries, or I'm going to tank this podcast. <laughs> 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 Thanks, guys. Yes.